everybody welcome to a new episode from the multiplayer server i've been doing some stuff off camera as you saw in the clip before where i made a little montage of me killing some uh, shoulders so if we go in and check here as you can see i have four elytras now and uh, i have some more um, swords and shovels and i have one stack and a half shoulder shells almost and i also bought a trident i bought a trident from the shop and i also bought some uh, mending books and speaking of shops let's just go over to the shop and uh, see if i have gotten any profits what the okay i guess they are gonna make a path or something here's my beautiful shop there's yeah, there's no roof right now because where lightning came down on my shop and almost destroyed all of it so had to build it up again and uh, it was actually because of the lightning rod i have placed the lightning rod i placed up here i have uh, removed it now but it was it was dumb of me to do that i thought i thought you can just put it up there and then it protects you from lightning but it's the opposite so let's see oh okay good start okay we have all the wood have been taken from there Okay. Oh my god. Wool. We got a lot from wool. We got no. I don't think anyone wants cocoa beans, to be honest. And yeah, that's not really for Lilith either. That's. That's one stack profits almost. If you make some colored wool too, we can definitely make a lot of profits from this. And then wood, we maybe also need to get some. Definitely get some more wood in here. Maybe different logs. Now that we have some better tools, we can actually go ahead and do that stuff. And let's quickly just restock everything. Maybe not this entirely, but at least something. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so now we have the required materials. Alright, I have some uh, wood here. Didn't really take long because I have a lot of saplings. Let's just base these out so it can look a little nicer. Then we have the wool. We didn't really have a lot of wool. I really need to make a wool farm. Probably gonna do that. The business is, is going great, but uh, it's actually a little too much. So I definitely need something to automate the process. One of the key elements to making a sheep farm is uh, to get observers. They are easy to get, but you do need to get some nether quartz, which, which I don't think we have any of. So I think I have, yeah, I have a fortune pickaxe right here. One of my first time going into the nether and I've always been on the little roof, but never, never in the nether. Uh, what I think we do is we go on a bit more land here and uh, yeah, there's quartz everywhere. But I think if we strive to go down in the mines, go to uh, level 15 and find, well, I try to get the uh, quartz. I can also have a chance to get some netherite as well because I don't have any. Let's just go down. So around here we should be able to find netherite. Oh my god. I actually found it. Let's go. Uh, there you go. Hidden in depth. Is that the only one? Or... Yeah, I think it is. So we're back from the mining session and uh, we got some netherite scrap. And we also got a lot of netherite quartz. I'm gonna show, show it to you in a little bit because I just got told from one of the members. I actually have some um, some uh, stuff that has been sold, so let's see what it is. The shop has a uh, path now. That's actually a very nice. We have a new shop. Everything, two diamonds for one, for three stacks. Prismarine, wow. Oh, I think he has a Prismarine shop. Let's see what we got. So we did get, okay, we got, okay. Wood is, yeah, that's pretty good. Wool, wow. Uh, we can put one in there. And we got 38. That's crazy. Let's check, uh, let's check this one. I think I, I don't think we have this one. Honey and frog lights coming soon. Nice. Then we got this too. Maybe has some new stuff. Free for any trident buyers. Oh, that's me, I think. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's go. We got the Nilerate. Oh, we actually have some uh, some people that want to a uh, restock. Let's um, yeah, let's just clear our inventory and uh, get some wood. Like 20 minutes later, we have enough for like I think 
one, no, not even one, one whole shulker box. Yeah, I can't, I can't use the whole episode to uh, mine some wood. Let's go and uh, refill. I'll probably say it to the others so I can get some diamonds. So now we just take all of this to all of that. There we go. And it's been some time in between the recordings. Let's see how our lock uh, shop is doing. Uh, here. Oh, he actually got a, quite a few. But you got 26 diamonds. Let's put that in there. We have two stacks and a half. That's a lot. Now, it's time to actually make the farm. I think we can put it over here because there's some flat area right here. Grab it. And a foot. Oh. Let's make this a little more flat. Okay, so now that's done, we just need to build the farm. So yeah, let's do that. any cobblestone to make the dispensers oh, because I have to go down to mine for some stone then okay so I need to get some string for the dispensers so yeah I've taken to the to the owner's space to uh, get some string because he had a uh, mop farm I think Ooh. we got some stuff down here Nice pumpkin farm or cactus farm furnaces. A so now we can uh, continue with the um, with the sheep farm. Let's just do that. I also got uh, a lot of cobblestone, so for mine. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm pretty much done with the sheep farm. The only thing I need now is to make a collecting system. And then I'm pretty much done, so yeah. The putting sheep in pens part was actually the most time consuming thing. Time consuming thing. Because it took around one hour to put every sheep in there. The little one block there. It also took a pretty much, yeah, it also took a lot of time in making all these dispensers and, and observers. But uh, I think in the next episode, we'll um, make a design for this. We'll come up with something um, because right now it's pretty ugly and yeah, I don't really want to look at this anymore. So thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Hope you will consider liking the video or even subscribing. And I'll see you in my next videos. Goodbye.